Ah, here we are. This is the Great Equestrian Hall of the Arts. Oh, I've really, really been looking forward to this. Yeah, it'll be nice to go somewhere without some epic level of bullshit going on. I think perhaps one of the most important parts about being a reviewer and getting into reviewing in general, if you're serious about it, is probably developing a persona. Sweet Celestia, what happened to your face? You look at people like, say, the Nostalgia Critic, Linkara, uh, those two just for an example, but even like people like Josh Scorcher, those guys have personas. They have a personality behind them. They have something memorable. They have something that stands out, which I believe is important, especially in a market full of reviewers that's, well... Who said that shit? Which one of you dead motherfuckers just said that shit? I guess you could call that market oversaturated. There's so many reviewers that are trying to jockey for position, and they all have personas. They all have personalities. Well, okay, maybe not all of them, but some are trying. The ones that have personas, I think, are the ones that end up standing out. Was it you, String Bean? You skinny ass looking bitch! Developing a persona is, well, it's hard to explain. Look at my character, for example. I have something that stands out. Say it again! Goddamn, say it again! I have a style that stands out. I have a voice. I have something that people can recognize. It looks like a giant cyst! Probably one of the most important things about having a persona is being yourself. Oh! Now you are fucked up! In a sense, a persona is a trait of yours that you extend out. You are fucked up! Like, say you want to be someone that's over the top or angry, and that's a part of you. You can use that part for your persona, for your character. Now you are fucked up! You get angry really easily, so that means you review stuff that pisses you off. Now you are fucked up! That's good, but don't flanderize that, because if you end up doing that... You are fucked up! It only becomes the one trait that people know you about, and then they sort of... Eh, what's the word? They kind of just stereotype you for it, saying, oh, he's just the person that gets angry all the time, etc., etc. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to sit down, please. You're going to also want to have to pick what you stand for. What sort of things do you want to review and what matters most to you as a reviewer? Is it the story? Is it how it looks? I don't have to take that shit from some uppity-ass bitch from Canelot. Is it the characters? Is it the culture that's behind it? Say you want to review superhero movies. What matters about that? What do you stand for? Well, I'd like to say I'm going to regret what happens next, but that would be a lie. And I think lastly, at the end of the day when you're developing a persona, don't let it stray too far from who you really are. Don't put on an act and then be a completely different person. A persona, once again, is an extension of you. So hold on to that because then it's natural for you. You're not having to put on a different show. If you get better at creating personas, you can do whatever you want. You can make your own persona that's something completely different or another aspect of you, but always stay true to who you are when it comes to your persona because, as I've said before, it is an extension of you. You are that character. You are that persona. I think we should take 10. Ow! What did I do?